Isaac is like my teddy bear. That dude is sick at dancing. He's very motivated and determined. Let's hear it for Isaac Lumiere! This tour was a very, very great experience, not only for dancing, but for bonding and growing as people. Isaac is a goofball. <laughs> Him and I connect when we do certain accents or take on different characters and stuff like that. It's a great picture. I cut half my face off, but it's, it's yeah. great. Isaac's like a potato chip. Always chilling, just like how a chip would be, you know what I mean? Also, he looks like a potato chip. <laughs> Trevor and Isaac just kill me. They make me laugh all the time. Hey guys, right now I'm about to uh, choreograph to one of the season four songs. For those of you that would like to do your own choreo, you can kind of see my process on how I get through my rough spots. Usually I like to relate the song to either things that I'm feeling or things that I've gone through and kind of try and build from there. This song is called The Hard Way and when I was growing up, I was always made to do things the hard way and I never understood it, but eventually it brought me up to who I am now, so I'm gonna kind of relate it to that. Do you have this choreography now? Kai, I'm just finishing the ending. Do I see it? Yeah. yeah. What I love about doing choreo with other people is it's like an exchange of energy and really cool things come out of it. Then then take it in. Yeah. Ah, there it is. There, you go. there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, beast. Oh, beast. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah. 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 All right, lit. Cool. Thanks guys. Cool. Snap it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's the that's the ending right there. So yeah, I guess I'll run it one more time. Cause there's a reason we So that's kind of the base of what the choreo will look like. Uh, that took me about 20 minutes to do eight counts of eight approximately. I'm gonna keep working at it, keep making it better, and hopefully it'll uh, all come together in the end. So we got to Porto in Portugal and went to this dance studio. We met our teacher, his name is Jacques. Jack, nice to meet you. Hi, Isaac. Oh, Jacques. What a sweetie, Petey. I wanted to explore a new type of dance because I love all art forms of dance. You know, I was trained in ballet, tap, jazz, gymnastics, hip hop. You know, basically everything you would see on a show like So You Think You Can Dance, I would do, except for the Latin. I had so much fun. I love doing any Latin dancing or anything like that. So I was so excited to learn from somebody actually in Portugal. He started by just teaching us some, you know, easy steps to begin with to kind of get into it. And then um, he started to switch it up a bit, teach us kind of some formation changing stuff. Ah, 
yeah, he, he was all about like just having fun with it and it was more for yourself than performing for an audience because you could kind of just groove and, and feel good doing what you do and it's not about other people, it's about your love for dance and, and sharing your love with your partner or with the group that you're with. Many schools, academies are creating some stress uh, when the students begin to dance. We don't want stress. It was cool to actually learn some cha-cha from my homie Jacques, who's all about love, and he's just like, yes, yeah, like feel the movement. Yeah. I was getting into it with the one, two, sha sha sha, one, two, sha sha sha. Can you teach us something together? We got to do a bit of partnering, which is a lot of fun. I did a bit of partnering with Jordan. Uh, and then... He's on. Oh, no, Bernie. Okay. Jack stole my partner. Kind of sad. Not really sure who I liked more. Sorry, I... Wait, can you guys dance together? Yeah, that's right. Come yeah. on. Jacques and his partner were incredible. Jacques has been teaching and dancing for, I don't know how many years, but he is incredible. Probably one of the main things that I'll take away from Jacques' class, and this is something I've always loved, is just sharing your energy and sharing dance. You know, to see someone who still believes in that concept, I think um, that kind of sat with me and, and I'll keep that forever. We're awful. Yeah, we're awful. <laughs> we, we are pretty, pretty, pretty awful. awful. <laughs> we are pretty yeah. awful. Huh. <laughs> but it's, I was so it's, lost it's always like point. that. Every mm -hmm. time I do like a, a Latin thing, it's always like, it's so different. It's so, we know. yeah. Like we, know it's Even, like we know exactly what's coming next always. Right? Yeah. Like, Jack's a really good partner, by the way, guys. Is he? I didn't get a chance to partner Jack. I Neither did I. Upset. I know. I, I was upset I for you guys. I thought we were gonna be able to do that, but I guess not. I think Jack, Jack's busy. I know, I know. Come on, hey. This is the thing with dance. No matter where you go in the world, you're always gonna have a different experience. Everyone has their own way of teaching. Everyone has their own way of moving or expressing things to you. So you're always gonna have a different experience. The thing that will always stay the same is dance. The fact that you're always having a different experience makes it sort of the same experience every time. So it's this kind of balance of everything's different but will always be the same.